Okay, goal is to reach Paradise Falls, and minefield is the best way to do it at this moment, so... Hopefully we don't get into too much trouble here. No, no, we'll we start right at the out outskirts. That shouldn't be too much of a trouble. Where's the up there? West. We might as well proceed mostly on the road. It's usually a radar magnet, so. We're trying to locate a city and a raider city, slaver city, so. Oh, uh, yeah, probably should put an armor on. And it's good to check, good thing to check from time to time. What the hell are you wearing? It's a wrong weapon. Yep, it's a good weapon. The damage is not great, but the actual critical hits you cause are so numerous that it is great overall. And I don't think I have good skills with this type of weapon. <sighs> yeah, you can't you can't jump the rocks. <sighs> For God's sakes. Are those black raiders? Grenade! damage 16 yeah it hasn't changed to anything really so it's not heavy weapon reliant that's a, that's for sure it's I can't see it being an energy weapon so small guns probably They had a single grenade, at least a couple of them had. They threw them and then they have nothing. It's not a bad tactic if the player stands there, prepares to engage them, or goes into turn based mode. Five. He's probably in trouble. The turn-based mode has some peculiarities. I think you might be immune to damage when you're in that mode. Because... Well, not quite immune to damage, but... Because you do some extensive animations in some ways. So, you, so it's 
meant to secure your life so you are not being able to so like three four guys can do can't do damage to you all the time when you are doing some extensive animation so you're only maybe maybe taking damage from the guy you're attacking or something like that some kind of limitations so it's a it's a proper survival survivable mode and it's a good one for some play styles it's probably much better than the real time combat stuff yeah i'm falling yep i'm sliding it doesn't really matter i, I don't want to go this way and go west not northwest Uh, they'll probably, yeah, they'll abandon the chase. the hostile here. Can't see it. No, oh, it's a robot. We'll leave it be for now. Uh, it's right in our path though, so There's another one there, below to the left. Behind those rocks. We were not even near of killing him by way of trading his hit points, but uh, limb damage to his head was so extensive that he lose, lost that part of the body entirely, and that's enough to kill at least certain creatures and certain limbs. But mo usually you have to do enough damage to drain their hit points to zero, unless you can do really focused damage on a single party part. A sniper is pretty good at that, and hit is probably the most vulnerable part. So, headshots, very effective. Muties. A good way to deal with those would be to simply shoot at the arm or the weapon. I would recommend arm because if you use a heavy weapon and you lose one of your arms, you're not gonna hit anything with those. Even in an assault rifle, anything non-pistol, and it's pretty much over. But a heavy weapon is not that kind of a weapon. You shoot what you happen to hit.
I don't think you even have the option to target body parts. I mean, if you use the turn based mode with such weapons. I could be wrong about that. We're going to take additional weapons. Uh, it's probably going to be small arms. But it, it'll have to be when everything else has been developed to full pretty much. So we have no additional point places to dump skill points anymore. At least that. Oh, look, more mutants. I want to depopulate this entire area. I think we made it. It should not be a mutant control area, I think. Yeah, it's just surrounded by mutants. Let's see how they react to me. Intend to become a victim of them. No, nor neither dead or neither are slaves. So we have to be a bit careful what we're going to do here. I'm not going to go there to kill slavers and free free slaves either. Uh, it's more of a reconnaissance mission, see what the situation there is, what the options there are. This is probably the main gate. Hold it right there. Nobody's allowed into Paradise Falls except on slaver business. And I get to decide what qualifies as slaver business. So, can I head on up? You? I don't think so. You're not really... Let's just say that you wouldn't fit in up there. So why don't you just turn around and head back the way you came? Uh, so I think we've done enough good deeds so we can get in, So, but we've also done enough bad deeds that the uh, good guys don't really like us, so I'm not quite sure what... 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 what can we do? Why not? There's two kinds of people who get into Paradise Falls. Slaves and slavers. So, unless you're looking to become a slave, piss off! Hmm, everyone has a price. What's yours? We might be able to work something out, but it won't be cheap. If I vouch for you and you go mess up our groove, it's my ass on the line. I think 500 cap should cover it. What do you say? Hmm. I'm not swell. I have no use for the money. 
Thank you. Pleasure doing business with you. Enjoy your visit to Paradise Falls. Friendly warning. Don't act like a jackass. You won't get a second chance. Well, at least we secured access. Let's see what opportunities we have here. If nothing, they have people with combat armor. So Tell we can, eulogy I said hi. So we can loot things. And gaining their trust might lead us uh, to an easier path getting rid of them. How are you? Oh shit! Didn't expect that. Oh god, lady, you gotta help us. You gotta get us out of here. Ah, oh, that slave colors. I've killed people for looking at me like that. The fuck you looking at, huh? How the hell did you make that guy's head explode? He did it. Dumb shit should have known the collar would blow. Now somebody's gotta clean up this mess. I'm busy, so piss off. You got business here, you talk to Eulogy. Yeah, slaves won't be escaping. Hmm. What the fuck? Apparently it followed me up from somewhere. Oh yeah, that came out of nowhere. Suddenly, a huge bear in your ass. God's sakes. Uh, I'm not going to heal up yet. If there's a... If there's a doctor here, I'll rather pay, pay him. Hmm... How much money do we have? Yeah, 2,900. And uh, there's nothing really I want to buy. So, it... We'll get more, we'll buy it on ammunition and things like that. How's the meat? Watch it. Catch any good meat lately? Watch your step, Square. Yeah, you got nice eyes. That's... That's pretty ad addictive, lady. You need a new shooter? You need guns? I got guns. You need armor? Got that too. So long as you got the caps for them. Do you make a lot of your own stuff? Yeah, pretty much. Take it apart, put it back together. It ain't hard. Sometimes I design my own weapons, too. Uh, you're, you guys are pretty isolated. Where do you get your supplies? Well, the guys usually bring in what they grab on missions. I mean, you always got to kill a few people when you're gathering meat. You know, they've got some guards. The dad thinks he's a hero and pulls a gun, whatever. So they bring that crap in here and trade it. But mostly the only stuff I get is from these guys. And they keep the good stuff for themselves. So you pretty much get leftovers. Yeah, pretty much. Greedy assholes. I don't know how I'm supposed to pull down a living over here when they don't trade fair. So... What would it take for you to get some decent supplies? 
I'd have to have some decent supplies to trade for them. If I have more things that these douchebags want, they'll bring me better stuff to trade. But you know, I'm a one-man operation here. Not like I get out a lot. Pretty much, my business is at the mercy of assholes. Fucking free market, man. Maybe we can do business. Yeah, I know. I could really get this little shithole going if I had some better stuff. First things first, bring me some Chinese assault rifles. People always need them for parts. Twenty should get me going. I'll trade them off and I should be able to improve my stock pretty fast. Oh, shit. Okay, what's in it for me? Well, I can't really kick much away right now. But once I get running, I'll be able to offer you much better stuff. And, of course, as my business partner, you'll get a discount on everything. Went to Chinese soul rifles. I don't think I've even seen that many in the entire game so far, so I might as well make the deal though. All right, 20 Chinese assault rifles, and we're in business. Just bring any you find back to me. Any piece of shit will do. I'm just gonna be breaking them apart and trading the parts. You know where to find me. Hmm. Let's see your inventory. Sure, man, take a look. The boys bring me all sorts of shit. So we can't be repairing our Chinese assault rifle anymore with other ones. Any piece of shit will do though. Ah, his selection is terrible. I have to trade for steam packs. Another satisfied customer. Okay, I have to go. Hey man, come back anytime. Well, it's another business opportunity though. Uh, silence pistol. It's not even selling the stuff we can see here. Um, we also have a... Oh, there's a party going on here. Also have another opportunity in the what was the name now? No no no. Canterbury Common Commons, yep. You can invest in some of the traders there so they can basically can their inventory gets upgraded to better stuff. That's something I should probably do. I'd like the weapon trader to have better stuff mainly. That's probably the most useful. Armor. Everyone has good armor here, so there's not much point to using a trader for the armor. But some new weapons, something to get started. Though I doubt I'll get a Gatling laser anytime soon. If I get that, that's. I think I'm pretty much set after that. Radiation King. At least one business opportunity. Hey, you're back. You get anything good? You caught anything lately? No. Slaver barracks. Yeah, charming. Ooh, charming place. Burn this goddamn jump ship. Vault 77 jump suit. What the hell is that? Like I told you, man, I don't fucking know where it came from, but it freaks the boys out. Some story from a while back about a stranger with no name. Just get rid of the damn thing. Ain't no good gonna come from keeping it around. 
Besides, if it is his, maybe he'll come back for it. Comprende? So, someone from Vault from 77. Raiders or slavers are afraid of him. That has to be a top say so it'll be mm -hmm. yes. How do we get there? Guess we just have to go at the edge. Ending good. No. Things are quiet around here. We haven't had. Hey, you're back. You get anything good? Cutter's clinic. This is exactly what I need. Cutter, fix me up. Don't even think of breaking into that. Uh, I wasn't thinking about that. You're a mess. I hope you brought a lot of money with you. Yep. I need some help. Well, hello, meal ticket. 100 caps. Or I can just wait for you to die and take it. Here's your money. This may sting a little. There you go. All better, you big baby. You need anything else? Mm, trade, please. You're a mess. Mm. Later. How am I a mess? I'm not a mess. You're a mess. Let me see your cams. Hey, it's your body. Do what you want to it. Uh, medical supplies. That's good to hear, since I want to take your caps. Oh, I haven't read the big book of science. We have something to trade. I guess we've mostly been fighting creatures, so not much loot from them. Wasteland Survival Guide. I guess we can read that too. Oh. Mm. Uh, I'll, uh, I'd rather take some right away and uh. Yeah. A pleasure doing business with you. Later. Bye. Let's see if I can read these books. Science and uh. No. It's not that kind of a book. Hmm. Assistant author. Okay, this indispensable guidebook contains everything that a survivor in the wasteland could need to know. Every page contains a gem of brilliant insight into how to survive in the waste. Thrive among its denizens and revive your survivor community. This brilliant tome not only conveys vital information for the here and now, 
but presents it in such an intelligent manner that readers are inspired for the future. According to our latest reconnaissance report, Enclave soldiers have taken complete control of the Project Purity facility. They brutally murdered innocent scientists, including James. He went there to revive the project and died for his efforts. They will answer for their crimes. I haven't worked so hard just to sit idly by and watch the Enclave undo what little we've accomplished here. Yes. Still haven't met the man who we were. I tell you, no more. Please, no, I didn't. I swear, this is your last mistake, little bard. Why, look what we have here some fresh meat right out of the waste. You just want to go ahead and jump in the pen with the others, or should I beat you senseless and drag you there myself? Hmm. Why are you so goddamn mean? I ain't mean, not by a long shot. You want to see mean? You should have met my daddy. That son of a bitch had cut your legs off just to laugh at you trying to crawl away. I saw him do it once, too. Just kept laughing at this poor bastard. After an hour or so, daddy got bored and crushed his skull with a rock. Come to think of it, that was pretty funny. Mm. I'm having Hex into flashbacks. Okay. Bye. Keep on. It's a fight. Hello, I am Ymir. Why did you kill the bartender? He put water in my vodka to make more caps from me, make the drink weak, try to charge me more. Maybe the next bartender, he won't be so stupid, huh? <laughs> where do you come from? Does it matter? It only matters where I am, and that is here. I have my boy, my friends, plenty of caps, and strong drink. Why would the past matter when now is so good? I have to go now. Come back when you are ready to drink, little girl. Yep. Didn't get a chance to talk to Frank. We could search Frank. <laughs> okay. We need to find the who was it? That boy of yours sure was drunk off his ass the other night, huh? That's my boy, just like his dad, hearty and full of life. <laughs> get your business done. I don't done know if that's something we should really be, you know, trying for. Exactly. <laughs> Okay, this has to be the HQ up there. What? Eulogy's pad. It's a pleasure to see a fresh... You must be our prospective customer. I do hope Paradise Falls can accommodate your needs. We make no judgments, no assumptions. We understand that it's a harsh world out there, and you do what you must to make it. Now, was there something specific you were interested in? It's a nice looking suit. Why, slaves? You you've got some kids out there. I want them. That's how it reads to me. So I have to go now. Paradise Falls is here if you need it. Maybe there are specific people, the kids. 
but uh, I'm not sure what they would be. Hello. What? Do you see something you like? Yeah, pretty dressed. Ah, <gasps> you holy crap! Check mark. So these are his girls. You like what you see? Talk to Mr. Anything that I have to say, Mr. Eulogy can say for me. So one, two, three, four, five at least. Yeah, we'll be taking those. I don't think Paradise Falls was uh, on the list of sites. Or was it? Well, again, uh, quantum distribution details. No, Paradise Falls Shopping Mart. Yeah, this is one of them. Super Duper Mart also done. So, old, old new grocery. That's probably the largest one. It's way out on the other side of the entire game map. Oh shit. Let's go into Okay, those five bubbles of quantum seem to be the best thing you from about this place at the moment. Why you always have to make me wait? What's wrong with you? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Let me make it up to you. Tell me what you want. So, oh. five bullets of quantum. We need to get 30. We probably have two thirds at most, so we need uh, quite a bit still. <gasps> Speech! Where well, our speech stat should be quite high at this point. 83. Main terminal, safe. Uh, downhill. Clothing. Hmm. This is a potential one. Yes. So, what can we do here? Probably something with the slaves. Personal restraint systems. Access denied. There doesn't appear to be a lot we can do. Eulogy Jones's hat. Pimp. Yeah, he has basically a pimp costume. Is that a red hat? No, black hat with a feather. Oh, it's hard to see in this light. Black hat with a purple feather. It's a pleasure to see a fresh face around here. No. 
ask about the slaves. Just let me know if you need anything, and I'll do whatever I can to procure it. Slaves. Well then, you and I are a perfect fit. You want to buy slaves, and I want to sell them. There are some prime specimens out there. Have you had a chance to look them over? Hmm. I haven't gone and looked them over, no. Well, you should. Go on out, take a gander, and see if there's anything that might meet your needs. I will point out that there are a few kids out there. Not something you see very often. A very good long-term investment. We can discuss details once you've had a chance to look things over. Mm, slave children. Possibly be good wrong with that. Uh, I think we need to go and talk to the uh, some of the slaves at least. So we find where they're kept. We are some kind of a pen somewhere, so in there. Slave pen. So. <laughs> Jesus Christ, <laughs> blowing mu mushroom. Uh, I think yeah, the diet is questionable here. Big people and glowing mushrooms. Oh shit! Ah. Rain is great, Paradise Falls. This is probably a way to escape from this place. Mm, I still like to talk to the slaves first. No idea what I'm doing. Uh, you a guard, Brahmin, or what? Lady, can you get us out of here? Who are you? I'm Sammy. I'm from Little Lamplight. Me and Squirrel and Penny. We aren't supposed to be here. We gotta get back home. You gotta help us get out of here. How can I get you out of here? Can't you just shoot them all? Yeah, that's the best you can come up with. Don't you have any other ideas? Well, I mean, Squirrel thinks maybe he could use the computer in here to turn off the collars. Squirrel's good with computers, and they don't know he made this one work again. But it's a... It, it's not connected or something. Hang on. I'll get Squirrel, and he can tell you what to do. Hey, that's the Mungo. Go talk to her. Hey, Redbox, what's up? What's up? You're the Mungo that's helping us, huh? Sammy says you want to know the plan. Well, listen up, Mungo, because it's a good one. I'm super smart. Yeah, okay. Tell me the plan. Okay, cool. You'll like it, really. It's going to work. I know it. We're stuck behind the fence here. But even if we get past the fence and the Mungos with guns, we still can't leave. They got these collars on us, right? Make us blow up if we try and get out. No way to get the collars off. So we gotta stop them from blowing up. Yeah, I'll keep going. So I found this old terminal in the building here. Dusty, but it turns on with a little fixing. Like I said, I'm super smart. I know they use a terminal to turn the collars on and off. So if you can link the terminals, I can turn the collars off and they won't even know. Then we just gotta open the fence, sneak past the mungos with guns, and get the hell out of here. Sounds good, right? You in? Where's the terminal I need to use? I told you, it's in the boss guy's room. You gotta sneak in there or something. That's up to you to figure out, Mungo. Make the department store computers of the Paradise Falls secure network. 
No. Isn't there any other way? You're really dumb, aren't you? I just told you this is the plan. I don't got another way to do this. Well, let's see what I can do. Gee, thanks. Don't work too hard, okay? It would totally be a shame if you this failed somehow. Maybe I need to go here during daytime or something. Oh, I don't know. I'm not going to get those little gates out of here now. Yeah, Paradise Falls. Now in our. Really have a. Well, we at least have a connection inside here. So we probably don't have to face all more trouble. I'm somewhat curious in completing the. New Coca-Cola Quantum quest line. How much item space do we have? Quite a lot, so. Quantum, Quantum, Quantum. Seven. I'm pretty sure if I can get to the old only stock, I can finish it up or get very close to it, like within one to three battles to finishing it. And that would gain access to the new grenade technology, which is, should be central to our... It should replace our fragmentation grenades entirely, so... Yep. I think that's a good goal to, goal to go for. I'm not sure if I want to go from here. We're surrounded by mutants, so... Maybe even go to the Canterbury Falls. Canterbury Commons, Jesus Christ. Not everything is false, and... Why not? Uh, we're inside the mall, that's why we can't leave. Technically inside. Yeah, we'll go to Canterbury Commons. Get the upgrades there. At least to the weapon merchant. And then head up north. No. Should be somewhere to the right. Canterbury? Canterbury. Ah, mm, where's the Uncle Rove? Yeah, Uncle Rove. Open merchant upgrade, please. We've met him a couple of times. With all of that fighting, I never did get to give you the official welcome to the town, did I? Welcome to Canterbury Commons, home of traders, caravanners, and most of all, of excellent bargains. Here for business or pleasure? Business, business. Understood, understood. A man doesn't get to be my age without learning when not to pry. Long as your business doesn't hurt ours, you're welcome to stay. Otherwise, well, there's no need to get into unpleasantness, is there? Yeah, trade caravans. Sure thing. Which one would you like to talk about? Mm, weapons. Then you'd be looking for Lucky Harith, adventurer, martial artist, and occasional collector of the most deadly items known to mankind. He's a bit of an eccentric, but he deals in more weaponry than you can shake a sharp stick at. In fact, he should expand his inventory. Harith's got quite a lot of weapons, but I'm sure he could improve his stock. An investment of 200 caps should see to that nicely. Yes, caps. Excellent. Harith will be delighted. He usually is by most things, really. 
he should expand his inventory further. If Harith were a less reputable man, I'm sure he could use his armory to collect even more weapons. But he's a merchant, not a raider. So it's legitimate means only. Like a legitimate investment of 500 caps. Sure. An investment in weaponry is usually returned in short order, after all. I'll inform Harith. He should expand his inventory. That simply isn't feasible, I'm afraid. Harith's gear already rivals some mercenary armies. Anything further would be asking for trouble. Ooh. Sure thing. Mm. Uh, not interested. Maybe armor. Eh. Uh, maybe later. All right, you're the boss. Good luck with those two troublemakers. How much money do we have? 2,300 still, so... That didn't even make a dent in our money supply. We lost, what, a quarter? About that. So, yeah. What time is it? I'll wait until the morning. Just on the off chance there's an actual trader this time in front of the town. Hasn't been one yet, so... Yeah, and this time's no exception. Maybe I'm misunderstanding something. Maybe this isn't where the traders are supposed to be. But I've got the impression that this is exactly where they should be. They are not here every day though, so there's of course a chance that I've just been unlucky. What the hell is that? Shows a little bit of blue something there. Also, could also be that they don't arrive until later in the day. That's a possibility. There's definitely some there. Traders. Anything here? Yeah, there's nothing here, never is. Well, that's sort of besides the point, that's not why I came here. Came here to get to Old Oni, and that's a decent trek to North. Hmm. 